Project's in by first thing next week. Vicky Pollard, stay behind. Oh, good luck, Vicky. Yes, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> you come here, please, Vicky. Vicky, it's been two weeks now, and I still haven't received your S.A. on Lord Kitchener. You, because what happened was, was I was going round cars, but then this whole thing happened because Shelley Todd is a bitch anyway. I've been completely going around saying that Destiny stole money out of Rochelle's purse, but I ain't not even spoken to Rochelle because she flicked Ash and Michaela's hair. Vicky, I'm not interested in that. I'm more interested in, in your coursework. You, because what happened was, was this whole thing happened, what I didn't even know nothing about, because Ashley Kramer's been going around saying that Samantha's brother smells mud, but anyway, shab, never even stole no car, so shab. Vicky, have you even started this essay? New, but, yeah, but, new, but, yeah, but, new, but, yeah, but, new, because I'm not even going on the pill because Nadine reckons they stop me from getting pregnant. You know if I don't get this essay by the end of the week, I'm going to have to fail you. Yeah, but Louise Farrell emptied a whole bottle of Fanta into Shannon's bag, but anyway, Luke reckons he figured I'm a bacon around the back of the language lab. Vicky, do you want to pass your GCSE? GCSE what? Don't go give me evils. <laughs> So, Prime Minister, the meeting with the Trade and Industry Secretary has now been rescheduled for 6.15. Fine, so the Chancellor's been moved to 7. Hiya! <laughs> oh, hello. Yes? Uh, Sebastian, this is uh, Gregory Merchant. Oh. He's just come to us from the Treasury. Hello, Sebastian. Nice to meet you. Whatever. Um, sorry, Prime Minister, <laughs> can I have a word? Well, can't it wait? It's kind of important, Prime Minister. Uh, Gregory, would you...? Look, uh... of course. Who was that? <laughs> Gregory, he's a new boy at the Treasury. He's rather good. Who oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, he's got a double first at Cambridge. Really knows his stuff. I don't like him. Why is that? I see the way he looks at you. <laughs> what about it? He was looking at you like he loves you. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, it's sad. He, he's obviously got some kind of mad crush on you, Prime Minister. <laughs> I think it's very unlikely. It's true. He gets uh, all kinds of nervous when he's around you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that everything? Yes. Do you want to get up? No. <laughs> Could you call Gregory back in? Gregory. I think he's gone. So, anyway, um, as I was saying... Gregory, come in, please. Sebastian's just leaving. Could you show him out? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Where, um, where were we? Oh, you're meeting with the Chancellor. Oh, yes, yes, right. Ooh. You smell nice. <laughs> right, there's your milk. Now, you know it's your birthday coming up and I said I'd take you up to London to see a show. Yeah, I know. Well, all the shows are advertised here. Now, which one do you want to see? Because I'm going to have to book. That one. Oh, <laughs> that's the Royal Opera House. I don't think you'll enjoy that. That one. Oh, uh, what about uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? You like the film, and this one's got Michael Balls in it. You like Michael Balls? No, yeah, no. So which one do you want to see? That one. It, it's a Triviata, it's an opera. Yeah, I know. Well, it's very expensive. It's about £100 a ticket. That one. All right, we'll go to the opera. Hello, Lysha. <laughs> Yes, it's very good. I assume it was all freshly made on the premises. Enjoying your stay? Uh, yes, uh, very much. <laughs> uh, we were just saying how much we like the soup. Did you make it? Maybe I did and maybe I didn't. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> did you? Yeah! <laughs> Well, it's delicious. We'd love to be able to make it ourselves. You'd like to know my secrets, would ya? Well, yes. Have you ever heard of a thing called butter? 
Yes. A golden color and slippery to the touch. Yes, butter. Anything else? Yes. Did you ever hear the legend of the seeded fruit that is often mistaken for a vegetable? The tomato. Red in color and fleshy within. But beware of the pips. They call it the tomato. Right, the tomato. Anything else? Yes. Have you ever heard of such a thing as a coup? A coup, mate? <laughs> Let me think. Yes, I have. Ah, but did you know the cow secretes the liquor from its udder? Yes. Milk. Ye you know too much. <laughs> ye <You> know. <laughs> too much. <laughs> So anyway, if we uh, start off by the castle, I... I leave ye with a riddle. I'm hard yet soft. I'm coloured yet clear. I am fruity and sweet. I am jelly. What am I? <laughs> jelly. Muse upon it further, I shall return. It's jelly, though, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Can I have another Bacardi and Coke, please, my Van Weer? Coming right, sir. Oh, bloody hell, my van, we I'm so down. Oh, why is that, David? It's so hard being the only gay in the village. Oh, I just dream of the day I can meet other gays who understand what it's like to be a gay. Oh, I was going to tell you. I was talking to old Mara Evans, and she's got a new lodger from Cardiff. And guess what? He is a gay. What? In the village? Apparently, yes. I told her to send him over here tonight so you could meet him. <laughs> Have a Bacardi and Coke, please. <laughs> oh, you must be Daffer. There you go. <laughs> I leave you boys to it. No, don't go. I... <laughs> Just passing through, are you? Oh, no, I've got a job here at the florist, and I'm looking for somewhere to live. I saw a very nice cottage, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> and, uh... You claim to be a gay, do you? Oh, yes, I, I am. And Mrs. Evans said I should come and talk to you, because you're the only gay in the village. Well, now you're not. Now there's two of us. No, you are not a gay. I am gay. I am gay. <laughs> All right, then. If you're gay, who played Dorothy in the film The Wizard of Oz? Judy Garland. <laughs> How do you know that? It's easy. Everyone knows that. All right, then. This'll get you. Who is the gay character, and are you being served? Mr. Mr. Humphreys. Was it? Yes! Well, oh, that's very subtle then. I always thought it was Captain Peacock. He's the one with the moustache. Well, I seem to have passed your gay test, so I must be gay. No, you are not the gay. I am the gay. You're probably just a little bit puffy. I am gay. I've had sex with men and everything. That's more than you've had, David. Shut up, my fun way. I am the only gay in this village, and that's that. Oh, maybe I should go. Yes, back to Cardiff. We've already got one gay in Clan Dewey Blevy. We don't need another one. Well, goodbye then. Provincial Queens. <laughs> David Thomas, you bloody fool. You could have had a bit of cock there. <laughs> oh, I'm the only gay in the village. You're full of shit, you are. That's exactly the kind of homophobic attitude I'd come to expect in this village. Good day. Yeah, I'll get you in in a minute. I've just got to find the lifeguard to help you get in. You wait there, OK? I want to get in. In a minute. Um, excuse me. I wonder if you give me a hand. Mm. I'm here with a friend who you may have seen is in a wheelchair, and I need a little bit of help getting him in and out of the pool. Now, I mean, getting him in the pool is not really a kerfuffle. Getting him out of the pool isn't really a kerfuffle. I mean, it's relatively kerfuffle-free, okay. but he does have a slight fear of water. You, you know, he, 
he likes the water, but he's not a strong swimmer. It is really doggy paddle, if anything. And really, we just need to help him get in and out because I like him to go swimming because it, it's good exercise. You know what yeah, I mean? Yes, and so really, I think it's just a case of me maybe taking the upper body and you maybe taking, the yeah, the leg, the, the lower body right. and, and just lowering him in very gently. So should we go and help him in? Yeah. How are we going to do this? Did you shower? <laughs> yeah. But now I was frightened again and ran home without stopping. Palfrey, you'll take over. Top of page 116. My sister, Mrs. Joe Gargi, had brought me up by hand, knowing her to have a hard and heavy hand in the Johnson, you'll take over. In the habit of laying it upon her husband as well as upon Clark. me. I suppose. Back to Johnson. <laughs> Suppose that Joe... Tell him, he'll take over. That Joe Gargery and I were both brought up by hand. Rums. Not a good-looking... Mitra. ...woman. Read on, boy. <laughs> My Ronan. sister and I had... Honky-tonk. I had a general impression that she must have been making Joe Gard... Phillips, Nash, Pepper, Thersonal. Go on, read. Yes, all of you. Joe was a fair man with... Melling, Ashworth, join them. ...of his smooth face and with eyes... Scotch accents. <laughs> such a very undecided mood. In the style of the elephant man. <laughs> right, stop. We're not getting anywhere. I will read. Page 117. Joe was a mild, 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 mild. Good, natural. Shall we just watch the video? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, better. I usually just have a starter and find that's enough. It's nice here. It's funny, I don't remember saying I'd go on a date with you. <laughs> I don't know what to have, it all looks so nice. The, uh, the uh, set menu is very reasonable. Mm. Oh, they do baked lobster. I've never had lobster before. I had that. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, the eyes, the eyes. Look around the eyes, look around the eyes, look into my eyes. You're under. In a moment, the waiter will appear, and when he does, you will order from the set menu. Three courses, eight ninety-five. You will not order the lobster. Three, two, one. You're back in the room. <laughs> oh, there's lots of things I like on the set menu. <laughs> you don't mind ordering from the set menu, do you? Hey, hey, whatever you want, you know, it's fine. Do you, uh, do you know what you want to drink yet? Mm. Seems it's a special occasion. It'd be lovely to have a bottle of bubbly. <laughs> Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, the eyes, the eyes, look around the eyes, don't look around the eyes, look into my eyes. You're under. You would choose a soft drink. You will not repeat, not order champagne. I know it's our first date, but I don't even fancy you that much, and I really resent you bleeding me dry here. Three, two, one, you're back in the room. Are you ready to order, madam? Yes, I'll order from the set menu, please. I have the spring roll and chicken chow mein. And to drink. Just a glass of water. Tap. <laughs> And for sir? Uh, I'm not really hungry. I'll just have the lobster and a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping us out at such short notice, Dean. Denver. Denver. Sorry. Is, uh, is Jeff Capes all right? But Capes, uh, he'll be fine. Yeah, he, he just had to have his dog put down and it, he's a bit upset about yeah. that. And he's only doing the bigger money jobs this week. <laughs> you uh, got your speech? Got it right here, boss. <laughs> See what Hug a Leper Week is all about. It's dispelling popular myths about leprosy. About bloody time. <laughs> I mean, there are people out there who think the lepers are still banished to colonies. They don't, are they? No. <laughs> Some people think that lepers' limbs just fall off. No, I mean, that's, that's, just, that's just wrong. Mm. <laughs> you know, I mean, for too long now, People who suffer from leprosy have just been the butt of jokes, and that's got to stop. Yeah. 
<laughs> you uh, want to go through your speech at all? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> Fruit pasta. Thanks. Good to get me one. Thank you. Tell you, I miss these out in Ghana. Oh, yeah? What are you doing in Ghana? I was working out there as a missionary. That's when I actually call leprosy. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> mine has been cured now. Has it? Yeah. But today, you'll get the chance to meet lots of people in various different stages of the disease. Mrs. Llewellyn. Oh, hello, David. And what can I do you for today? I'll have a quarter of bonbons and a copy of Gay Times, please. That's my only outlet. Is it not on the rack, love? I couldn't see it. Well, it must have gone, then. I'm sorry? You only get the one in for you, so I imagine somebody must have bought it. I don't think so. I think you'll find I am the only gay in this village. Oh, I remember. Somebody definitely came and bought it yesterday. It's got Hazel Dean in it and a very informative article on rimming. <laughs> Who bought it? Do you know, I can't remember. Think. Well, now, um... Come on, woman! Well, now, let's think. Who came in yesterday? Di Davis, the music master. He might have bought it. He's not gay. Hmm. Well, he does share a cottage with the English master. They're just friends. No. Come to think of it, he just bought Vogue. See? He's not gay. Who else? Quickly! Father Hughes. A gay priest? What planet are you all, woman? I remember. Go on. Yes, I was quite surprised, actually, because I'd absolutely no idea he liked cock. Who? <laughs> Who? Well, I just popped next door to the tea room for a bun, and when I came back... For the love of God, woman, tell me! Noel Jones. Who? The blacksmith. Right! Hello, David! I'm commandeering this vehicle. What's this I've been hearing about... <laughs> oh. David. David Thomas. You must be Noel. No, I'm his brother, Reese. Noel! <laughs> well, I, 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 no, I, I left somewhere in the oven. <laughs> Will the results of the opinion poll come through, Sebastian? Yeah, I've got them right here, Prime Minister. What sort of things are people saying? Well, they're very happy with your work on Northern Ireland, um, a strong approval on your health service reforms. Um, they'd like to see you in shorts. <laughs> shorts? Yeah, Prime Minister, just a pair of cycling shorts or something. Um, oh. They like the fact that you're assuming a tough stance on crime, and they like it when your hair's a bit wet, because you, you look kind of soppy, Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> they like to see you wrestle a man. I'm sorry? A Bosnia good, education could do better, wrestling men I've covered. Can I have a look at them? Yeah, uh, just right here. Um, <laughs> now, um, rail track. Oh. oh, you've got an eyelash. Stay still. Stay still. Make a wish. Darling, there's your soup for the Treasury dinner. Now, we're running very late, so you'll have to get changed here. Oh, uh, thank you, darling, yes. Have you seen my earrings? I don't know, darling. Which ones? Oh, oh, you do know Sebastian, don't you? Oh, hello, Sebastian. Hi. How are you? Fine. <laughs> Sorry, we're having a meeting here. Have you tried the bathroom? Of course. Now, don't be long. See you later, darling. I'm not going. I was talking to my wife. Oh. Bye, Sebastian. Whatever. <laughs> so, anyway, um... Oh, God, I've completely forgotten what I was going to say! <laughs> Thanks for coming in, and uh, I really should get changed now. Uh, yeah, yes, of course, of course. And uh, you'll have a word with the Foreign Secretary about Tuesday. Yeah, I'll, I'll get straight on to it, Prime Minister. Great. Oh, yes, can you approve the budget overspend by first thing on Monday, because it's quite big? 
Yes, Sebastian. Now, if you don't mind, um... But quick, Prime Minister, get down! Oh. <laughs> what, what's going on? I thought there was a sniper, Prime Minister. Where? By the window, but there isn't. <laughs> Up now. Give it a minute. <laughs> so, I'm going to put these here and here, OK? Yeah. Why? So you can do toilet when I'm not here. Yeah, I know. So, we think. One here, yes? Yeah. And one here, yes? Yeah. Because I'm going to have to drill into the wall, you know. Yeah, I know. Could you uh, pass me the drill? Oh, I can't reach you. <laughs> right, I finished. Do you want to come and have a look? Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> Here we go. Ta da! What do you reckon? Yeah, I like it. What's it for? So you can do toilet when I'm not here. Yeah, I know. Do you want to try it out? Yeah. All right, I will leave you to it. <laughs> How are you getting on? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Just out for a nice, quiet meal. Can you please try not to mention the whole you-know-what? What's that? You know what I'm talking about, Liz. What, that I was Molly Sagden's bridesmaid? <laughs> yes. Well, sometimes it just comes up naturally in conversation. Well, let's just see if we can have an I was Molly Sagden's bridesmaid free night tonight. All right, then, Clive. <clears throat> can I take your order? Are you being served or shall I go first? <laughs> Liz. Um, I'll have the seaweed, please, to start. That's my boy. <laughs> and I'll have the sesame prawn toast. Oh, prawns! That's what I had at Molly's wedding. <laughs> Molly Sugden's wedding, where I was the bridesmaid. Yeah. And for the main course? Uh, we'll have a 27, a 108 and the uh, egg fried rice, please. Yeah, she's very nice, very down-to-earth. Quite different from her character, the snooty Mrs Slocum. <laughs> and before you ask, no, the wedding dress wasn't from Grace Brothers, perish the thought. <laughs> from Grace Brothers! <laughs> Liz! People want to know! Well, it's boring. Well, that's life. Now, do us all a grace and favour and shut up about it. Um, and to drink. Oh, I'll just have a beer, please. And I'll have a glass of Molly. Oh, I mean water. Sorry, did someone say Molly Sugden? <laughs> Excuse me, are you talking about that woman from Are You Being Served? Um, I think she's in that one. Is that the one she's in, Clive? She's very funny with all those jokes about her cat. I'll get you a drink. <laughs> if he asks me one more question about Molly Sugden, I shall scream. <laughs> Molly Sugden! <laughs> Get part scratch and never pack it part scratch and box the matches. Anything else? Um, four pints of snake bites, please. <laughs> you uh, got any ID? New, but yeah, but new because you know Albany. Well, she said I've been going around saying that Samina Gashwan has got a moustache, which she has, but I never said it. But anyway, Paul Murphy told Yasmin that I showed him my tit on the school trip to Wookiee Hall, but I never, I just showed him my Wookiee Hall. If you ain't got ID, I'm not serving you. New, because what you need to do, right, is ask Kevin Flanagan's brother because he reckons I look at least 15. And anyway, I am old to that because one of my best friends in the world is Therese McKenna, and she goes to school with Gary Super's sister, and Gary Super's like the hardest person in Gotham. Because once, right, he went down the canal and he found this tire and he like threw it in the swan. Come on, get out. No, but I have got ID, but I burnt X, I don't even need it. You've dropped your ID card, Vicky. Oh, yeah, I just remembered I never burnt it. <laughs> oh, my God, that's, like, so unfair! <laughs> Hayley Chapman reckons she went down the throat with loads of makeup on and they gave her four of her and blacks. Because she's so lucky. She's got her own council flat, three kids, and she's only nine. <laughs> I'm not serving you. do not matter anyway, because we got one of these. <laughs> Come on. 
Let's go. This place is rubbish. Right. Can I have, please, a whipping with a flake? Have you decided what you're having? Yeah. What do you want, then? Just a cone. And uh, another whippy plain, please. No, just a cone. Well, just a cone on its own? No whippy? Yeah. Well, it's going to be very dry. Yeah, I know. Oh, tell you what, why don't you have just a little bit of ice cream in it? You like ice cream? You said it was a perfect compliment to a hot summer's day. Yeah, I know. So what's it to be? Cone. <laughs> and then just a cone on its own. Thank you. I want a whippy. <laughs> Have another Bacardi and Coke, please, my van will. Coming right, sir. Oh, I wish there were more things for gay people to do around here. It's so lonely being the only gay in the village. <laughs> about there's loads of things to do you just gotta look in the local paper now lesbians bisexuals transgender oh there we are gay section oh there you go there's a gay night on thursdays at the bj in the bear pub in other than we oh no I, I couldn't possibly get over to our fan way well, it's only half a mile away no the stone path is quite treacherous <laughs> to have a van with. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly get on the bus. I'm gay, you see. <laughs> gay men's choir. Gay rambling society. Gay book club. Gay sex club. <laughs> gay nation of Islam. Not much going on, is there? Oh, gay Trekkies. Now, that is right up your street. You love Star Trek, don't you? Well, I don't like Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Look, the gay Trekkies have a meeting on Mondays at 8 o'clock. Oh, well, I've missed it then. Right here. Let me see that. Hey, that must be them over there. <laughs> they don't look like Star Trek fans to me. Of course they are. Well, they can't be gay. Oh, I tell you, dear, he was hung like a Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> Go over and talk to them. Oh, no, my family, I couldn't possibly walk all the way over there. These hot pants can be terrible chair fans. <laughs> David. <laughs> Greetings. Um, I've just been speaking to the barmaid. Yes. And she says, would you mind drinking up and leaving? Only they don't want your sword round here. <laughs> well, I did try. Ooh. Have you got any savlon? I'm going to draw down here. Have you seen anything you might like yet? Yeah, I want that one. On that one? Yeah. Huh? Well, that is pride and prejudice. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not as sure you like that one. I like that one. Well, <laughs> it's all set in the olden days. No, I'm not as sure you like that. You like your Chuck Norris's and your Stephen Seagal's. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> just to be on the safe side, why don't we get a film with guns in it as well, just in case you don't like this one? I like that one. Well, you know I'm going to go and see Maria tonight, so I can't take it back and get another one if you don't like it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Are you sure you want this one? Yeah. I don't like you. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but you stuck with it. I told you, I've got to go and see Maria. Look, I'll be back around thick. Monster trucks, monster trucks, monster trucks. Yeah. It is 
is a sin. Morning, Dathid. Good morning, Steve S. Now, I just had a phone call from Ruth. She got terrible morning sickness, see, and she's not coming in today. Oh. So I'm going to put you with the new boy, Ethan. Ethan, You're ten o'clock's here. Do you know, I think Ethan might be a gay. I think that's very unlikely. I am the only gay in the village. Hiya. <laughs> I'm Ethan, but all my friends call me Fanny. <laughs> Follow me. Well, too early to tell. <laughs> Come along now, take the weight off your lollies. It's a nice big skirt around you. <laughs> now, what can we do for you? A nice wash and blow? Would you like that? A blow? <laughs> Just a light trim, please. There right you are. So, do you, uh, do you go out much? Not really. Is there much of a scene? I beg your pardon? A scene, dear, a gay scene, you know, cocks and frocks. No, there is no gay scene in Tlandui Brevi. Just me. Really? Yes, I am the only gay in the village. Oh. Not anymore, dear. Fanny's in town. <laughs> there you are, loves. No, no signs. Fanny, love. I forgot your keys. Thanks. I am a dizzy cow. <laughs> right. Engine bracket need walk, so I'll see you later. His brother. Oh, we're easy to find. When you see the hanging three, take a left. When you come to the old well, take a right. If you pass a scarecrow, You've come too far. <laughs> yeah, that's right, opposite Ikea. <laughs> ah, Squire Mackenzie, I trust you enjoyed your stay. Yes, I shall be submitting a very positive review to the Chronicle. Oh, uh, just one thing, the three courses for 15 pounds said menu, is that available on a Sunday? If you'd ask me on a Monday, I'd say, yes. <laughs> if you'd ask me on a Tuesday, I'd say, yes. <laughs> if you'd ask me on a Wednesday... Well, for heaven's sake, it's a very simple question. Do you serve the set menu on a Sunday? If you ask me on a Monday, I'd say, yes. If you ask me on a Tuesday, I'd say... Me on a Wednesday, I'd say yes. Yeah. chips. Uh, just through there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, where was I? Oh yes. If you should ask me on a Monday, I'd say oh, yes. Yeah. For goodness' sake, man, it's a very simple question. Do you serve the set menu on a Sunday? I'll tell you, but through the medium of dance. <laughs> Children. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yes, I heard it, Kitty. Hello, Meals on Wheels for Kitty Chumley. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do, do come in, yes. Right. So what is it today, then? Oxtail soup for starters, and then shepherd's pie with cabbage and sweet. No, oh, I don't like sweet. I mean, uh, Kitty doesn't like sweet. And there's a choice of Arctic roll or a peach. Arctic roll, obviously. Thank you. So, uh, how is your sister today? I didn't do it. No? How is she? Oh, I see. I'm still not walking, but I think a lot of it's psychological. Can I see her? Uh, oh, no, no, no. She's biting today. No, thank you ever so much. Have you got yesterday's plates? Uh, was, uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. We do ask that they're returned clean. <laughs> By the way, the jam roly poly was delicious, Kitty said. If anything, there could have been more of that, she added. They tell me you were an actor. I'm an actor, yes. Oh, right. Uh, are you in anything at the moment? 
bits and bobs, you know. Well, thank you very much. Good day. You know, Mr Chumley, I think you might qualify yourself for the Meals on Wheels service. I am 43. <laughs> I'll see you again soon, then. Uh, bit dry. Sorry? Because he said... <laughs> right, just gonna go and pick up Maria. Is there anything you need me to do before I go? Yeah, I want a chocolate. Well, I bought these chocolates when Maria comes round. What is chocolate? Well, all right, you can have one. There. Which ones you want? That one. That one? Yeah. Well, that's dark chocolate. Yeah, I know. Well, you don't like dark chocolate. I know. You always said dark chocolate has a bitter edge to it and lacks the oral ecstasy of its milkier cavern. Yeah, I know. Well, why don't you have the caramel tub then? You like the caramel tub, it's caramel. I want that one. Oh, well, I'm going back on the shelf now. Yep. I don't like it. I did warn you. Can I have another one just to take the taste away? Oh. You can have another one when Maria gets here, and not before. See you later. You open for afternoon tea? Ooh, maybe I am and maybe I'm not. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no, no, I am, I am. Please sit down, sit down. <laughs> what an adorable little place. It smells funny in here. <laughs> I shall be back in a moment with the cake trolley. <laughs> here I am with the cake trolley. Those look great, don't they, Kimberly? I want the chocolate cake. Okay, honey. Kimberly has a nut allergy. <laughs> do you know if there are any nuts in it? Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, yes, there are nuts, or yes, you know? Yes. <laughs> well, which? If I tell you the truth, I'll tell you a lie, but if you call me false, I'll also tell you a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so does a cake contain nuts? Cut a cake, cut a cake. Have you any nuts? <laughs> the cut a cake contains no nuts. <laughs> lemon drizzle cake, lemon drizzle cake. Have you any nuts? <laughs> the lemon drizzle cake contains no nuts. <laughs> no nuts. <laughs> Chocolate cake, chocolate cake, have you any nuts? He wants to speak to you. <laughs> Mike Kapalski? <laughs> and me and Molly Sagden were friends from the old days. I mean, this was years before Are You Being Served. Liz. In a minute. Then Molly said to me, she said to me, would I like to be a bridesmaid? I mean, where? Yes, your food's getting cold. In a minute. <laughs> and of course I was delighted. It was a wonderful day, all told. It Liz, really... I thought you said you were just going to the toilet. I was. And then I just happened to get chatting to these nice people about being Molly Sugden's bridesmaid. I'm so sorry about this. Oh, yeah, it was a lovely day. We had a lovely meal and there was dancing and they played the Beatles and there was dancing. And... Oh, I went to school with Paul McCartney. Oh, right. And then they brought out the cake. Which... Really? What was he like? Oh, he's a really nice bloke. He was dead musical even then. He was always playing the piano at school time. in a lovely singing voice. Yeah, and then Molly, Molly Stugden, whose bridesmaid I was. <laughs> did, did you ever meet John Lennon? I did, actually. Once, we went round at lunchtime and John was there and they were playing the piano and they were doing a bit of jamming. It was great. Yeah, the Beatles aren't really going anymore. Anyway, I said to Molly, uh, I said to her... Uh, I love the Beatles. I've got all their tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. play them in the car. Yeah. Listen, why don't you come and join the school? Oh, thank you very much. No, yes. Clive, come yeah. away. <laughs> Excuse us. It's all right. 
he was at school with Paul McCartney. Yeah, and I was Molly Sugden's bridesmaid. I don't go on about it. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Boring. Mr McCooney, you have tax payments overdue of nearly £24,000. Can you give us a cheque today? M maybe I can, and maybe I can't. <laughs> Please, we've had all of this last year, Mr. McCooney. You've got to take this seriously. Uh, yes. Can you give us the cheque today? <laughs> That's not the answer I'm looking for. You'd help yourself a lot more, Mr. McCooney, if you started giving us some straight answers. Your form here is incomplete. Gross income, yes. Net income, yes. No, it's not yes, it's yes. <laughs> you can't just put down yes. You do know that, don't you? Yes. So, can you give us some payment today? What if I were to offer you six magic beans? <laughs> Probably wouldn't be interested. Seven magic beans. Nope. How about a talking noisy box? Inside, there are tiny sprites are talking to you. But they can't hear your mind unless they're doing the phone in. No. You want the pickle or don't you? You'll never take it, never. Go, oh, have it, have it, and be gone. I'll tell you what, Mr. McCooney. Why don't you pick up your quill? Yes. And your magic money paper. Oh, yes. Put your mark upon it. Yes. And we'll do the rest. Yes, 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 yes. Good day. A fair thee well, keepers of the purse. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> right, now you know it's Declan's birthday coming up. Who? Declan, your brother. Yeah, no. Well, it was his birthday coming up and you've got to get him a card. Now, can you see any you like? Oh, that one. That one? Yeah. Well, that says with deepest sympathy. Yeah, no. Well, that's what you send someone when somebody died. Oh, that one. Well, I'm not sure Declan's going to like that. It's going to send out the wrong message. No, Declan likes sailing boats. Why don't we get one with sailing boats on it? Oh, that one. This one's got a sailing boat. Do you like sailing boats? That one. Are you sure this is the card you want to send your brother Declan for his birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's baffed. He's not dead. <laughs> Anything you take your fancy, sir? No, thanks. I'm just looking. Humorous book about cricket? Forward by John Major? No thanks. Complete set of black header there. Eh? Yeah, okay, I'll take them. Oh no, hang on, there's uh, there's no black header three, I think I'll leave it. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, the eyes, the eyes. Look around the eyes, don't look around the eyes, look into my eyes. You're under. What you see before you is a complete set of Blackadder videos. There was no Blackadder 3. Anyway, it's called Blackadder the Third. Three, two, one. You're back in the room. Oh, okay. Right, then. There you go. Cheers. Lovely. You, uh, the Light Red Dwarf? <laughs> Got the, uh, whole first series there. Including smeg ups. <laughs> I know, I've, I've got these, I take them off the telly. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. The eyes, the eyes, not around the eyes, don't look around the eyes, look into my eyes. You're under, you did not repeat, not take Red Dwarf off the television, you cheapskate. Three, two, one. You're back in the room. Okay, take those as well. There you go. Thank you. I, uh, I see you're a bit of a comedy fan. How about that? I oh, know, I saw that, it was rubbish. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, the eyes, the eyes, and around the eyes, don't look around the eyes, look into my eyes. You're under Paul Merton in Gordon and Simpson's The Blood Donor was hilarious and just as funny as when Tony Hancock did it. Three, two, one. You're back in the room. Yeah, don't push your luck, mate. <laughs> Try 
Prime Minister, I believe that Primo Ministro, the very special bond between our two nations, credo che il rapporto speciale tra le due nostre nazioni can only grow stronger uh, in this difficult time. Diventa sempre più forte durante questo periodo difficile. As you know, this evening I will be having talks Sappia with the uh, President of France, il presidente di Francia. Hiya. Sebastian, um, Sebastian, I'm in a very important meeting. Un meeting molto can't importante. wait. No, no Prime Minister, it can't. No, What's all this about you flying off to China tomorrow? We're supposed to be having a meeting. Well, it's a matter of grave international importance. And I'm afraid the meeting about your agricultural report will have to wait. I had my head on and everything. <laughs> Sebastian, please. Sebastian, you just use me when you want, Michael, then you just throw me away. Can you please stop translating this? Smettiamo. Thank you. Come here. Don't touch me. You can do without the hysterics. Oh, I'm being hysterical, am I? Oh, no, I'm not going to shush. I think Prime Minister Coluccio should know what you're really like. The meeting tomorrow is off. Oh, well, I've got other plans now anyway. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah, um, the leader of the opposition has invited me around for tea. So just think about that when you're on your little plane tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, Sebastian. Whatever. Goodbye, Mr. Italian Prime Minister. Ciao. Oh, ciao. <laughs> ciao. Get out! <laughs> Sorry about that. Dolente. Guarda, se lei l'ama, corri dietro. What did he say? Oh, the Prime Minister say, if you love him, go after him. <laughs> Mitra, the answer to question two was Golden Wonder, not KP. <laughs> Phillips, how many times do you need to be told? Red for ready salted, blue for salt and vinegar. <laughs> Patel, the two variables on the graph were pickled onion and prawn cocktail. <laughs> Wilson, you could have had cheese and Owen or Smokey Beckham. There is no such flavour as prawn collimore. <laughs> Epithesinal, please note, Monster Munch is maze based. This was all covered in the first term. Put maze. Frazzles, dental, not quavers. They look like rashes for Pete's sake. The clue is in the bag. Yes, you got 95%. Well done. I particularly enjoyed your diagram of a what's it. <laughs> Irving number five was Oxbow Lakes, otherwise good. Where is Irving? He's having his tonsils out, sir. <laughs> and finally, Palfrey, best before. Sea Bay Soft Pack. So it is with great reluctance that I have decided to accept the Minister's resignation. I'll take a few questions. A Boyd Hilton smash hits. <laughs> Prime Minister, do you admit that the Foreign Secretary lied to the House? I've answered that question already. Next. Greg Davis Puzzler, uh, have you appointed a replacement? We'll be making an announcement shortly. Angus Thomas Kerrang. Who's next to go from your cabinet? There will be no more resignations from my cabinet. Roy Sloan, Wizard and Chips, are you concerned you've lost your strongest ally in the cabinet? There is no rift in the cabinet. Andrew Jarman, Dinosaur Magazine. What was your reaction? Sorry, I don't know that one. It's new. You get a free binder with part one. You collect it over 24 weeks. It's everything you need to know about dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I've forgotten the question. Oh, yeah. uh, Roger Wakeley, Asian Babes. Um, given your support of yet another disgraced minister, don't you think that your position has become untenable? Certainly not. One more question. George Paxton, Daily Telegraph. Yes. Who's your favourite member of Westlife? <laughs> so, have you seen anything you fancy? Yeah, I want that one. That one? Yeah. Well, that is a book on Chinese history. Yeah, I know. Well, as you know, you weren't even looking at it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it all looks a bit involved, really. Now, how about that book I was telling you about in the van? About the cave boy who lived in a rubbish tip? Stick of the dump. 
I don't want that one. That is Chinese language and its origins. Again, it, it, uh, it might be a little bit hard for you. I want to. Well, all right. You got these two. Now you allow one more. Shall we see if we can find Sick of the Dump? That one. <laughs> that one? Yeah. That is the same one as you've got there. <laughs> well, you're sure you want these three? Yeah. You're positive? Yeah. All right. Let's go and get them stamped. So, are you happy with your choices? Yeah. You're sticking with these three? Yeah. Good. I can't read. <laughs> Don't eat all the bread, that's for the duck. Yeah, I know. Oi, oi, I say. <laughs> Come over there and see that. Right above it. Take him a mess or just ignore it. <laughs> Someone should give them lot of smack. But I thought you said you were against violence. I thought you said that violence is the last bastion of moral cowardice. Yeah, I know. Well, leave it then. Come on, let's feed the ducks. Oi, oi, Douglas. Peaceful oh. <laughs> here, isn't it? That's why I like that. The time to really think and reflect on your life. I find the water very calm. And I know you do too. Especially on a day like today. Absolutely magical. All the troubles in the world just float away. Oh, good, they've gone. See? Rise above it. Yeah, no. There you go, that's gate 11, OK? Who's next, please? Meanwhile, back at check-in, it's a very special day for this happy couple. Where are you flying to today? Disneyland! Los Angeles. We're getting married in Disneyland. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Right, just need to ask you a couple of security questions. Did you pack the cases yourself? Yes, we did. Unfortunately, we didn't receive any help from the seven dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> and do your bags contain any sharp objects? No, only the bare necessities. <laughs> We both love Disney, don't we, Jeff? It's all right. We've actually bought a personal DVD player with us so we can watch the Aristocats on the flight. We watched that one last night. Yeah, but you do actually have to watch the Aristocats more than once to really appreciate the nuances. It's a great film, the Aristocats. I shouldn't really like it because I am actually allergic to cats. Yeah, she comes out in a rash. But luckily, these are cartoon cats, so they never come out the screen. I'm telling you, when Bambi's mother died, I cried every day for a fortnight. I'm sorry, Jeff, I'm not putting myself through that again. Oh, look, can we go in there in case they've got something Disney? It's a chemist. Yeah, but they might have some Winnie the Pooh panty pads. Come on. Why do I like Disney so much? Mm, probably because I'm quite thick. People come from far and wide to work at the airport. Tommy is obsessed with planes and it's always been his dream to work in the aviation industry. I really, really, really want to be a pilot, but I found out that you have to have passed lots of exam ex tests to be one. So what I've decided to do instead is to get myself a job at the airport and then work my way up to being a pilot. Uh, cheeseburger. Press cheeseburger. Large chocolate milkshake. Press large chocolate milkshake. Chicken nuggets. Press chicken nuggets. Two apple pies. Press apple pie. Press it again. I find it quite complicated. But now that I've served my first customer, I think I'm definitely on my way to becoming a pilot. Now I ask, would you like fries with that? Would you like fries with that? Yeah, not me, him. So next time you're on a plane, listen out, because you might just hear a voice saying, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. This is Captain Tommy speaking. Would you like fries with that? Simon and Jackie Trent are Britain's first husband and wife pilot team. Set heading 092. Heading 092 set. Set speed 470. Speed 470. I haven't out. finished setting the speed yet, Simon. Sorry, I thought Can you... Can we just do one thing at a time, please? Yeah. Right, the speed is set. 
Well, I've been flying commercially for 15 years now, and Jackie was a dental nurse. I was a dental hygienist. There is a difference. You know that, Simon. You do know that. He does know that. And then Jackie felt she wanted to retrain and become a pilot. He had an affair. <clears throat> he had an affair with one of the stewardesses. It wasn't an affair. It was a one-night thing. Well, that makes it worse. How does that make it worse? It just does. I did what any woman would do. I spent five years retraining as a pilot. And now I come on all the flights with him. We decided it was the best way forward. No, yeah, you decided it was the best Please don't undermine me all the time, Simon. Yes, five years later, here I am, qualified as a first officer. And it saved our marriage. It's allowed us to trust each other again, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Where are you going, Simon? I'm just going to the toilet. You went to the toilet over Norway? That was over an hour ago. Who are you going to be talking to, Simon? Who are you going to be screwing in the toilet? Well, it's not always easy. Uh, you know, living together, working together. I mean, we have squabbles like any married couple. Not like any married couple when one of them's had an affair. The early morning Our Lady air flight from Cork has hit turbulence, but cabin crew member Fergal is quick to reassure his passengers. Hello. Does your name Holly? Your mommy tells me you've been feeling a wee bit scared, is that right? Yeah, she just gets a little bit frightened, especially with all the turbulence. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. That's just like a wee little pocket of air, like driving along a bumpy road. Yeah, you see. Yeah? Mm. And I've got somebody who's going to look after you. Would you like to meet him? Yeah? Hello, my name's Brandon O'Bear. I'd like to be your best friend. Oh, <laughs> say thank you. Thank you. Mm. 35 year old. Ian Foote is the airport's chief immigration officer. His job is to prevent illegal immigrants from entering the UK. Working in immigration, you do sometimes get labelled with the racism tag. I do take my job very seriously, but I'm not in any way racist. In fact, one of my best friends is friends with a man who's black. And he's very black. Oh, yeah. Man, he's black, yeah. Earlier today, Ian stopped a passenger at Passport Control, whom he believes is trying to gain unlawful access into the country. Do you understand why I have brought you here? No, I don't. Well, it's clear to me that you've got a forged passport. No, I haven't. Oh, it's a forgery, all right. Very good one, I'll grant you that. But, uh... There is one slight giveaway. And what is that? There is no such country as Liberia. Yes, there is. It's in Africa. Oh, in Africa, you say? It's on a map. Look on a map. All right. I will look on a map. Yeah. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, right. Liberia, you say? Yes. Yes. Right. You got the new one, Chris? Liberia. So, Mrs. Mumbutu, would you be so kind as to point out the location of this so-called Liberia? There. Oh, yes. Just hidden underneath Sierra Leone. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to let you in this time, but I would advise you in future to travel with a large atlas or globe so you can prove to people you haven't made up your country. Good day. This is disgraceful. Right. You are a very ignorant man. All right. I am disgusted by the way that I have been treated. Okay. May I leave now? Yes. You have insulted the people of my country. Yeah, I'm actually on my lunch break now, so anything else you say doesn't really count. Oh, round, okay. Tommy came to the airport to pursue his dream of becoming a pilot, but so far he's only made it as far as Happy Burger. Yeah, it's going really well. I'm not a pilot just yet, but I have got three stars on my name badge. Uh, this one was for being out a week, this one was for putting the cheese into cheeseburgers, and this one was for mopping up sick. In fact, they're so impressed with me, they've actually made me be assistant supervisor, so now it's my job to train up the new staff. Can I have a burger, please? Burger? Burger? Fresh burger? 
Press back up. Onion rings. Onion rings. Onion rings. Press onion rings. Press onion rings. I do still like to have the supervisor with me, just to make sure I'm doing it right. Fries. 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 What size fries? What fries size? What fries fries? Small. 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 Press small then. Press small then. Strawberry milkshake. Strawberry milkshake. Chocolate milkshake. No, strawberry milkshake. No strawberry milkshake. No strawberry milkshake. I have to be careful though. If I get too many stars, there's a danger I may become overqualified to be a pilot. Can I have the code for the toilet, please? Can I have the code for the toilet, please? Can I have the code for the toilet, please? 295. 245. 361. The Our Lady Air flight to Dublin is boarding. And Fergal is breaking in a new steward. I'm really excited about today as it goes, because I just qualified as a steward. This is my first ever flight. And, you know, being a steward's great, you know. Uh, the money's not bad, you get to travel a lot and uh, meet loads of birds, all right? Lasagna or cocko van? Lasagna or cocko van? <laughs> I had cocko van last night. All right. Yeah, my friends just bought a transit. Lasagna or cocko van? I might be wrong, but I've got a feeling that the guy I'm working with could be gay. Yeah, you both. Yeah. I ain't got nothing against him, but I'm not one myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtly mention that I'm straight and uh, hope he gets the message. Any duty free for you today? 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 Yes, um, Chanel number five, please. Oh, certainly, madam. There you go. That's what my girlfriend likes. Oh, right. Yeah. I bought for me girlfriend because me girlfriend likes it because I really love me girlfriend. Great. Girlfriend! I don't know what it is about Lee, but I'm getting quite a gay vibe from him. Mind you, you know what they say? What's the difference between a straight man and a bisexual? Two pints of lager. Another pint of lager? Yeah, all right. Before their return flight tomorrow, Lee and Fergal have been booked into a hotel in Dublin. Bottoms up. Are you drinking? No, I like to stay in control. You raise me up so I can stand on my Peter. Sorry, Judith. When we boarded the Flylow cruise liner, we were shown to our quarters in the bowels of the ship, only to discover that our cabin was flooded waist-deep with seawater, but we thought, oh, hum, let's get on with it. It's only our bottom halves that are going to get wet. So we set sail. Peter, I'm talking. It's very rude. Sorry, Judith. So we set sail, and we'd only just left the port at Athens when it emerged that all 780 passengers on board the vessel had contracted dysentery. We had to queue for 14 Peter, hours. Peter, you and I are going to come to blows in a minute. You had to queue for 14 hours to use the lavatories. Well, we'd been waiting 13 hours, and it was very nearly our turn, when we heard gunshots and discovered that the boat had been boarded by pirates. They rounded up all the passengers. Peter! They rounded up all the passengers on deck and singled out Peter and I and took us hostage, which meant we missed the buffet. We were then taken to a room and told that one of us was going to have to perform sexual acts upon the pirates at gunpoint. Well, uh, I popped my hand in the air and volunteered Peter. But before my husband had a chance to engage in anything other than mild foreplay with three of the men, the boat was stormed by the Greek Coast Guard. There was a shootout. Bodies everywhere, and just as I thought, surely this cruise can't get any worse, we discovered that the cabaret that night was John Barrowman. That's when I broke down. Mm. Our Lady Air cabin crew member Fergal is desperate to win the Steward of the Year competition, but on today's flight to Barcelona, he's being less than attentive as he's waiting for the nominations to be announced. Well, you're not supposed to have your phone on during the flight. It can interfere with the aircraft's navigation system and could cause the plane to crash, but this is obviously a very important call. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for flying Our Lady Air. We're about to begin our descent, so please fasten your seatbelts and say three Hail Mary. Excuse me? 
Yes? Well, you've only been in the air for 40 minutes. We can't be landing in Barcelona yet. No, we are. We're landing at Shannon, Barcelona. Shannon, Barcelona? That's it. But Shannon's an island. Yes, madam. In order to keep our fare prices competitive, we do sometimes land at airports a little further away from the city centre. But we're landing in Ireland. That's nowhere near Barcelona. Oh, well, no, don't worry. A short coach transfer to your final destination is included in the price of your ticket. Shannon to Ross Lair, catch the ferry, down at Dover, over to Calais, through France, across the Pyrenees, and into Barcelona in time for your evening meal. Which evening? Tuesday. That's absolutely... Uh, excuse me, can you watch your language, please, madam? No, I'm just... I don't want to have to use the restraints. Hello? 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 Can you turn the thrusters down? I can hardly hear. Yes? Really? Oh, that's fantastic news. Thank you so much. I'll see you there. Yes! Excuse me. Yes? You're not allowed to use mobile phones on an aeroplane. I could report you for that. Oh, really? Well, I've just been nominated for Steward of the Year. So shove that up your fat arse. It's two hours into the flight to Florida, and Penny is struggling to come to terms with her new environment. Oh, don't touch me! The noise, the people. There's only one word to describe them. Savages. And I just poked my head in the lavatorium. It's positively medieval in there. Ladies and people of cattle class, may I have your attention, please? I have just returned from an inspection of the onboard convenience, and one of you has left it in a revolting state. Who didn't flush? Come on. Who didn't flush? It was someone, someone who had, had the, the mushroom, mushroom risotto. risotto. Hands, Hands up, up if you had the mushroom, mushroom risotto. risotto. This whole frightful situation would never occur in first class. People in first class don't forget to flush. They're very diligent flushers. And if they do, it doesn't matter, because their stalls are perfectly formed and odour-free. Meanwhile, in baggage handling, the strike is having an unexpected effect. I'm all for going on strike, me. We don't work for Flylo, Dad. Yeah, but solidarity, though, know, innit, boy? We're my Flylo brothers. Well, what about all those cases from Lufthansa? No, nah, point the principle. Won't touch them. Right, I'm off. Where are you going? Going home, boy. Well, when you get home, can you do your washing up? No, nah, mate. I'm on strike, innit? I? By way of apology for the previous debacle, Flylo offered us a very good deal on a package holiday to Colombia. Now, as soon as we came out of Bogota... As soon as we came out of Bogota Airport, Peter was bitten by a rabid dog. Within minutes, he was howling and foaming at the mouth. My first thought was, can I have Peter put down? I looked into it. But well, the doctor said it was unethical. Yes, thank you, Peter. But the doctor said it was unethical. Peter became more and more ill. I had diarrhoea and was projectile vomiting. Peter, don't be so cruel. Sorry, Judith. Peter had diarrhoea and was projectile vomiting. If you'd spun him round, you'd have thought he was a Catherine wheel. So we decided... So that I best... decided that the best course of action was to take the first plane home. Now, while we were waiting at the airport, a very charming man called Carlos approached me and offered me $5,000 to take his briefcase through customs. I had reservations. Peter had reservations, but we were saving up for a loft conversion, so I said yes and gave the briefcase to Peter to carry. Well, we learned it in England. Peter, if I could just get a word in edgeways. Sorry, Judith. I should hope so too, Peter. When we landed in England, Peter was stopped at customs. They searched the briefcase and found 20 kilograms of cocaine with a street value of half a million pounds. Peter was arrested and is looking at a prison sentence of no less than 12 years. If I had to make the holiday out of five, I'd struggle to give it more than three. Every day, thousands of items of luggage pass through the airport. They are sorted by handers like John and his son, Terry. Nah, this ain't the easiest job in the world, this. Uh, all people do is moan about us, don't they, Dad? Yeah. They say we're always on strike or always stealing stuff from the luggage. Yeah, but if we're on strike, we can't be stealing stuff from the luggage, can we? And if we're stealing stuff from the luggage, well, we must be at work. So the idea that we're always doing both at the same time is just not true. Yeah, people moan that 
them bags always end up in the wrong places. See, the thing is, if we're supposed to get a bag on a flight to New York and we miss it, we just sling it on a plate to Delhi. Then at least that way, the passengers got the peace of mind of knowing that their bag has left London. Yeah, and the cases are getting heavy up. Oh, yes, a nightmare. Some people can't go abroad without taking the kitchen sink nowadays. Well, I ain't a problem for you. You don't lift no cases no more. Now nah, put me back out 2003, so I don't lift no bags no more. Nah. Now, nah, I'm lucky not to be in a wheelchair, me. Yeah, you was only lifting an umbrella. Yeah, and a wooden handle, though. Sick sod. Also having lunch are the passengers on Fergal's Our Lady Air Flight. We're flying to Rome today, so I put in a special food order for all the wee Italian folk on board. For starters, we need melon with palm spam, then spaghetti hoops, and for dessert, a cornetto. We were meant to have some nice Italian red wine, but it didn't arrive, so I'm just giving everyone a card and a ribena. Right, who's ready for lunch? Will you be dining with us today? Will you be dining with us today? Uh, yes, please. But they ordered a special meal. That's right, 17 D, Mr. Ahmed. Yes, I have it right here. There we are. Thank you. Oh, uh, excuse me. I ordered the halal meal. What have I given you? You've given me a kosher meal. What, it's all the same, isn't it? No, no, a uh, halal meal is for Muslims and a kosher meal for Jews. I think you'll find there's only one true God, and that's a Christian God. Enjoy your meal. Will you be dining with us today? Will you be dining with us today? I would like a complaint form, please. What's the problem? Well, we booked a holiday through your so-called company, and we have had the holiday from hell. It was our anniversary, so we booked to go to Cyprus. It all started when we got off the plane. Yes, thank you, Peter. It all started when we got off the plane and discovered that the Flylo Hotel complex hadn't been built yet. It was just a mound of earth. Well, that was our first disappointment, but we thought, ho-hum, let's get on with it. And we dug a hole in the ground and stayed there. Oh, we booked for a continental breakfast. Yes, thank you, Peter. We booked for a continental breakfast. Meats and cheeses, a selection of pastries, a choice of tea or coffee. But there was no food at all. Not a sausage. Yeah, you're now complicating matters, Peter, because in fairness to Flylo, they never promise sausages. Sorry, Zildes. Apology accepted, Peter. Yes, there was no food whatsoever, but we thought, ho-hum, no point feeling sorry for ourselves. And we survived on a diet of insects and grubs. I'm a vegetarian, so I just ate soil. Yes, I was coming to that, Peter. Peter is a vegetarian, so he just ate soil. Now, the problem was, I don't know if the soil hadn't been cooked properly, but Peter had a very, very bad, upset stomach. No stools. Oh, Peter, don't be disgusting. We don't need to hear about that. Sorry, Judith. Peter had very loose stools and, for the remainder of the trip, was lying on the ground clutching his guts with a cork up his anus. It wasn't the worst holiday we've been on, but it's certainly up there. Penny's flight to New York is just minutes from takeoff. Ugh. Look at her. Disgusting little piggy. Oh, look at him guzzling champagne like some filthy backstreet wino. Mm, excuse me. Would you take a photo of us, please? Right, that's it. What have we done wrong? Lewd behaviour. Excuse me? Loutishness, coarseness, an all-round general euclism. Come on, on your feet, chop, chop, out. Uh, we're not going anywhere. You've been nothing but rude to us since the moment we got here. Air rage! Air rage! Air rage! Air rage! Air Unfortunately, rage. I had no option but to have those two passengers ejected from the plane. Can you stand up, please? Sir? Stand up for me, please, madam. My recommendation will be that they are banned from all future air travel. So perhaps next time they're on a plane, they'll think about their behaviour. Well, they won't be on a plane, but you know what I mean. Baggage handlers at the airport have their part to play in keeping air travel safe. One of the things I like to do is carry out my own personal security checks. It's not part of our official remit, is it, Dad? No, boy, but I think it gives the public peace of mind, you know. Mm -hmm. Right, what we got here? Yeah, that one looks good. Which one? Yeah, the Louis Vuitton, yeah. That right. one, yeah. Right, okay. I've got a lock on it. Ah, that's no bother. Get on that. There we go. Right. Get that there. Oh, hello. Yeah, you see now, very common is the laptop. This could have illegal images on it, so we'll uh, take that home for further analysis. Right, what else have we got? Oh, hello. Ducky. Now, the thing about the shoes, you can have explosive devices in the heels, so uh, we'll also take them home. 
That's the most I was. Ha-ha! Here we go. Very common problem, this. The iPod, yeah. Now, you're not allowed to have these on on takeoff or landing. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to use it. It'll be in the hold. Right, the principal, son. Right. What we've got in here? What's that? Chain L, pour on. No, you're not allowed liquids on board, so, uh, yeah, we can set that down there. Oh, it's an aerosol in here. You're not allowed them. You should take that out. Hey? We're not going to get nothing for that down the market, are we? Silly sod. Right, that one's good to go. Right. 